Sometimes you just don't need a ton of volume, you just need the right people. In this episode of The Edge, we're gonna take a deep dive into the marketing of the Ritz-Carlton at Sea. I went to Fox News looking for a little ad inspiration and look what I got hit with. They had this big banner here just front and center taking over the homepage of Fox News. And right away, the headline of this ad just jumps out because people just know the name Ritz-Carlton. They've established a brand. So that's pretty powerful just saying the name of the brand, the Ritz-Carlton at sea. It's even trademarked there. And then the subheadline there, the Ritz-Carlton is taking its legendary service and unmatched luxury to see. Very simple, but effective. What else do you really need to say? So when you click on the ad, you end up on this page right here, and I really like what they've done. This is a really good direct response flow. So you come to this page and you can request a brochure. So you have to give them uh, your first name, last name, country, zip code, email, phone number, your preferred option here, and the preferred date. And by checking this, you would sign up for their newsletter. Now this form here is what takes center stage, but they still have some other call to actions here. You could actually call this number, you can request a call, or sign in and join, and they've still left the navigation here. What's interesting about this design here is it's very minimal and classic. Now in the world of web design, there's a lot that could be going on on this page, but I like how they just exude a high quality luxury feel with a very, very minimal palette. It's all pretty much black and white. The logo's black and white, the call to action, uh, black and white. It's all done with just very minimalistic design elements. You see this kind of thing on barons.com. I don't know exactly what it is because I'm not a designer, but the logo is very elegant. The fonts seem special based in a very pleasing way. The fonts themselves look good. So there's a lot going on in this design, even though it looks very minimalistic. So great job by the design team on this ad. Now let's take a quick look at their homepage. Uh, their homepage, there's there's more going on. They're showing you the visuals of the cruise, right? And you, you can see the luxury just looking at these images, right? But they didn't send me to the homepage on that particular ad. But again, the very minimalistic design elements, very elegant and classic. But on the homepage, they are hitting you with this beautiful imagery because that's what you want, right? If you're going to go on a cruise. So uh, there's a lot more going on on the homepage. And something I find interesting here, when you scroll down, you can sort and search for a cruise, but what they've kept sticky here is this request a call button, right? These disappear, but request a call sticks there. Maybe they found that their users just prefer to request a call from an agent. So when we come on over to similar web, we see that they are getting a significant amount of traffic. They're pushing almost 2 million visits in the last three months and they're up 33%. So maybe this is a seasonal thing when more people are taking cruises because it's January going on February. So I'm sure people would love to start thinking about getting away. And we see here that 50% of their traffic is coming from the US and all of the rest of it is spread among different countries here. So really the majority of their traffic is coming from search. So organic search and also paid search with organic search coming in at almost 32%, paid search right at 21%. Their display ad traffic is a little over 5%. But remember, on 2 million visits, that's actually fairly significant. When we look at their social traffic, the majority is actually coming from Facebook, followed by Instagram, then YouTube. But Facebook's taking almost 80% of that traffic. And when we look at their top publishers here, <laughs> we see weather.com is a huge one. Um, that is a massive website followed by CNN, which is also massive. Uh, I happen to find them on Fox News, but it looks like CNN is one of their biggest publishers. And then also YouTube and the BBC. So they're getting traffic from all these really big websites. Okay, so let's take a look in SEMrush and see what is going on with their search because they are getting a lot of traffic from search. So we see their organic search traffic here, almost 46K, paid search traffic, almost 5K, almost 24k backlinks. Let's jump into organic and see what is going on there. So all these terms we see here are branded search. A lot of people searching for Ritz Carlton Cruise. Um, they've got their name out there. They're a well-known brand. So it makes sense that a lot of people are searching for them. Ev Evrima. Hmm. 
looks like that's one of the names of their yachts. So through the awareness out there, people actually know the name of the yachts. They're searching for those at Rima Yachts. But a lot of this, this is all branded search, all branded yacht. Okay. <laughs> So Evrima is coming up for that. So, wow. Okay, 90,000 searches there. Okay, they're in the 23rd position, but they are ranking for the word yacht. Okay, so all of this is what I would consider branded search, except for terms like yacht. And here's another one, luxurious cabin cruises. So they're coming up for that. They're in first position for that. Not a ton of volume, but think about this. I mean... <laughs> People looking for cruises, actively searching for cruises, probably a great customer, even if it's not a lot of volume. Uh, and just to illustrate this point, I found one of my best clients of all time on a Facebook live stream where I think I had 10 people on there. Um, but this was a high rolling client. So one of the 10 or so people that was actually on my stream was my ideal dream client of a massive company, right? So sometimes you just don't need a ton of volume. You just need these to be the right people. Yeah. So generally what we are, we are seeing all branded, 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 and then we come down luxury Caribbean cruises, low volume, but they are coming in number one on that. And <laughs> if even... You know, a hundred of these people are, are ideal customers who want to, you know, submit the form and, and, and get on the phone, then that's great. Okay, so I found these guys through a display ad. So let's jump into AdBeat and see what's going on more in depth with their display ads. We see that this is very seasonal, right? December coming into January, they are advertising a lot more because look, it gets very cold in a lot of places around the world <laughs> and people want to get away. So this has to be a peak season for them. And what's interesting here is that we see Critio and Google DB360 taking up the top slots here in their display marketing. I don't often see that. I, when I'm doing these breakdowns, a lot of times I'm seeing Taboola, Outbrain, and then DB360 further down. But Critio is actually their number one at a million in spend, followed by DB360. So these guys are really focusing on programmatic advertising. I've used Google DB360. Uh, it's a beast. There are tons of dials and levers in there. But the thing that's very interesting about it is you have access to a lot of data that you're not going to find in the standard Google Ads platform, Facebook, or any other networks that a lot of people are used to. In Google DB360, uh, and other programmatic platforms, you can find access to a lot of really granular data. Let's say you were looking to target investors. You can find audiences of accredited investors, right? There's just access to a lot more data. So maybe that's what these guys are going for here is to target uh, specifically who they want. Because I think for them, display can be a very strong platform because their product is just very clear, right? So when you look at this display ad, there's not a lot to explain. It's Ritz Carlton at sea. It's a big yacht. Uh, <laughs> Ritz Carlton's bringing its legendary service. So people already get it when they look at this display ad. Now, other products where maybe you have an information product or something that's not going to be clear at all until people take in a ton of information, watch a webinar, all kinds of stuff like that. Display ads can work for that, but in this case, it's just so clear. There's just so much packed into the display ad. Now, imagine um, if they have all that data, if they're targeting people at uh, certain income levels, uh, travel habits are getting much more granular data. So I can see how display for these guys, like it, it, it's just a really good fit. Again, some of their ads here, the Ritz Carlton takes to see a lot packed into that statement and the image speaks for itself. All inclusive luxury at sea, the Ritz Carlton yacht. It's all you need to say, show them a beautiful image. And there's a lot packed into that name, the Ritz Carlton. And let's take a look at YouTube, see what they've got going on on YouTube. I see lots of different YouTubers have shot videos about the Ritz Carlton, but here is one from their official channel. So let's take a look at that. So they don't have very many subscribers. So YouTube is not a big thing for them. It looks like it's just a place to host some content, right? So not really a lot going on on YouTube, but you know, why not just house some of their beautiful videos here? Because if you have a luxury yacht, I'm sure you can get some amazing footage of the scenery, the sunsets, all, all the beautiful angles you can get of the yacht. So why not host some videos here? Oh, 
dolphins. So that's what they have going on on YouTube. Let's take a look, last stop here, at Facebook ads. So Facebook ads pulled up about 110 results here. So let's take a look at a few of these ads. Discover your next ad adventure in 2025 with the Ritz-Carlton Yacht Collection. Okay, so they're going pretty... <laughs> it just turned 2024. You have to book this a year in advance? Wow. <laughs> I mean, that's exactly what I would hope for and expect in a video. Uh, just teasing me with all that beautiful scenery on the locations they go to. Uh, short video, no need to say anything. The video speaks for itself. And it looks like they have you know, different versions of videos in that style. Let's take a look at one more. Okay. 16 second video here. So a short video there. Uh, they're kind of focusing more on uh, the food and dining. Uh, hit you with that Ritz Carlton logo at the end. I mean, the images here are, are very powerful. So some of these ads have more information like this one talking about their new re newly released itineraries, um, the launch of their newest yachts. Um, so there's more copy in those. Uh, other ads like this, they just hit you with a beautiful video and they say set sail on a journey of discovery with the Ritz Carlton Yacht Collection. You know, I think when you have a powerful brand, if it's Porsche, Ferrari, Rolex, uh, Ritz Carlton, you don't need to say a lot because people already know you're awesome, so you can just lean into that brand. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. This is Jason signing off, and I'll see you in the next episode.